To use RStudio Cloud, start by going to rstudio.cloud and click on the Login button. This is assuming you've already created an account. Enter your email address and your password, and you'll be taken to the project screen. If this is the first time that you've used it, you won't see any existing projects. And what you want to do is go to the New Project button and select New RStudio Project. You'll notice that it takes a bit of time for it to deploy the new project. That's because it's having to basically spin up a cloud server that will be uh, handling your project. But after a short period of time, you should see a interface that is very similar or almost identical to the one that you would see on Desktop R. We can check this out and make sure it works by going into the console window and just typing a little bit of math. Let's try 2 plus 2 equals 4. Great, it looks like it's working. When you're ready to leave a project, you can simply go up to the breadcrumbs in the upper left corner and click on your workspace. This will take you back to the project page where you should see your new project. Once the cloud server has been spun up, it's relatively quick for you to jump back into the project again and to jump back out of it. After a certain amount of time, the cloud server will be shut down and then it'll take a longer period of time to restore it. If you want to get rid of a project, all you have to do is just hit the delete button and the project will still be available to be undeleted for 30 days. If you want to start a project that's an existing project, uh, then you can just click on its name. I have uh, recently used this project, so it didn't take that long for it to spin up. But you can see the project is exactly the way it was when I left off with it last time. When you are done, if you're on your own personal computer, you can just close the tab. However, if you're on a public computer or a computer that you share with other people, you should go up to the menu in the upper right and choose Log Out. If you don't do that, then the next time someone goes to rstudio.cloud, they will automatically be logged into your account and then you have the potential of somebody uh, messing around with your projects.